Oh, guys, this weekend we have a wide cultural program. There are two interesting exhibitions in our city, and we are going to see them. At first, we will go to the Central Art Exhibition Hall to see the exhibition of Henri Matisse. And then we will go to the Perm State Art Gallery to see uh, an exhibition that calls Sanky Perm. Uh, this exhibition uh, shows masterpieces and art from three main Russian museums. It's Tretikov Art Gallery in Moscow, Hermitage in uh, St. Petersburg and Russian Museum in St. Petersburg. Masterpieces from those museums were evacuated to the city of Perm uh, during the World War II. And now those museums uh, give us an opportunity to see those works of art or masterpieces. How do I say it right? I don't know. Now Anya and I will have a lunch here and then we will go to the exhibition. Henri Matisse was a French artist known for both his use of color and his fluid and original draughtmanship. He was a draughtman, printmaker and sculptor, but is known primarily as a painter. Matisse is commonly regarded, along with Pablo Picasso, as one of the artists who best helped to define the revolutionary developments in the visual arts throughout the open decades of 20th century responsible for significant developments in painting and sculpture. We are now near the Perm State Art Gallery and now we are going inside. There is some difference with Matisse, I would say. On the third floor you can see Perm God's wooden sculpture. The discovery of this completely unprecedented and absolutely stunning phenomenon, original folk art of Perm region, belongs to Nikolai Serebrinkov, Ural art historian, collector and researcher of wooden sculptures. For 40 years he worked as the director and chief curator of the Perm Art Gallery. The first exhibition of wooden sculptures collected by Nikolai Serebrenikov was opened in Perm on April 27, in 1924, causing a lot of interest. If not Serebrenikov, the Perm gods as well as other charge items would have waited for the sad fate to be absorbed in a fire during the struggle with religion. Like all ancient Russian plastic, Perm sculpture is a synthesis of sculpture and painting. 